The Renewable City Strategy is a vision for the future of Vancouver where we rely 100% on renewable energy to power our city before 2050. Buildings account for three quarters of the energy consumed in the city of Vancouver. We need to get those buildings in Vancouver to use less energy, use renewable energy, and increase the supply of renewable energy. A lot of the building stock is yet to be developed by the year 2050. So we'll start to see thicker walls, better insulation, better windows, so that there'll be enough heat that come from the occupants, the dishwasher and the TVs, that that's all the energy you need to keep a building warm. We are hopeful that Malaya will grow up to imbibe these values. Together, you can really achieve more. And all of us are in agreement that this is good for us and good for the environment. There are so many different ways that we can retrofit our existing building stock to make sure that it's sustainable, renewable, and energy efficient. Retrofits allow us to keep affordable housing, keep the character of our city and our neighborhoods. So I think that we'll see a lot of retrofits happen as buildings go through their natural renewal cycles. So we just wanted to make sure we didn't have any footprint on Earth. Many of the businesses are very keen on building retrofit opportunities, energy upgrades, obviously saving money, but also doing the right thing, so to speak. It's not run by gas, it's run by electricity. Electricity, oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. The neighbourhood renewable energy system that we have in South East Falls Creek is the first of its kind in North America. And that system takes heat from sewage lines within the city and that heat is then circulated to buildings to provide their space heat and hot water. Learning that the system heats almost 30 buildings was something that I just found so interesting. There's so much opportunity to develop new ones for other Vancouver neighbourhoods. incredibly lucky in British Columbia to have a huge amount of hydroelectricity, but the remaining electricity needs to come from a new source. So we can use geo-exchange systems, we can use wind power and sun to supply the energy right where we need it. When we were on the tour, we were asked to envision an entire building where all the glass collected solar energy and that the building would have a net surplus of energy and could actually sell energy to other people. By pursuing renewable energy for our buildings, this is gonna have a long-term positive impact on the future of our community. But ultimately, we're gonna make a better city for people to raise their kids in.